Hello everybody. I want to share with you, whoa. I want to share with you something that really helped taking my skills to the next level and made me a lot more ready to play on stage. And I actually learned this the very hard way. So, and this is all about playing while standing. I want to share with you this tiny story and then I will, from there I will be able to explain to you why it's so beneficial to you. So, a few years ago I was traveling and I was in New Zealand. And when I was traveling, I liked going to open mic shows. Now, this whole day, I was very excited that I was about to play one of my favorite songs, Otis Redding, sitting on the dock of the bay. And I practiced that the whole day and I felt totally great with it. And this is a song I loved and played many, many times before. But then I went up on stage to play it and I came up with the strap, you know, feeling big, standing up. And for some reason, I didn't understand why nothing was felt good, you know, nothing connected, all the chords were not clean, my hands didn't feel like they're falling into the right places, it just didn't feel right. And the performance was definitely not one of the best ones that I've had. Now, the simple reason for that was that I practiced it exclusively while sitting down and then I came to perform it while standing up. And when you're standing up, it's a lot harder. First of all, you carry the guitar, the weight is on your body. Your hands reach from an unfamiliar place. They have to reach from a different spot. And just feels different. It's a lot harder. So one of the things that I took from there, and since then I love, I very much, um, I practice with it a lot. This is to practice at least 30%, 40% of your time while standing up. Now, not only that this makes you more prepared to play on stage, if you ever have any plans or aspirations to do this, and it doesn't matter which stage and how big it is, but also it makes you literally a much better player because when you practice in the tougher conditions while standing up, and then when you're sitting down later, everything is more easy because you already practiced it in you know the worst situation not that it's better something but it's just harder besides that it's also especially if you got a mirror around that you can look at it also it also gives you this feeling of being like a rock star and imagining that you are this guitarist that you love or this other guitarist it really makes you feel good about yourself so i highly recommend doing that now, a couple of little things, a little tips that I wish someone told me when I just started playing while standing. The first one is if you want to avoid stepping on the cable and having it fall out of the guitar. So that's what you do. You connect the cable, but then you don't just leave it hanging from here straight to the amp, but you take it right here from behind the strap and only then you connect it from here. This is the first thing. Now, the other thing is that you want to pay attention to which height you set the guitar. Especially in the beginning, even though it looks a bit nerdy and not like a rock star, you want to put the guitar a bit more closer to, to you and not low. Because low, even though it looks cool and all the rock stars do that, it's even a lot harder to play like that. So go with the mature choice, at least in the beginning. At least until you get used to the feeling and you get better with it and you start getting comfortable. And only then if you want, so take it a bit more down. The height that I'm right now with it is sort of in the middle. That's what I feel. And this is it basically. So have a great time. I'm sure you will have a lot better time practicing like that. And you will become a lot better. And I will see you in the next videos. Have a great time. Goodbye.